What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, we're going to show you just how easy it is to create surveys and use branching logic so people don't see questions they don't need to answer using Microsoft Forms. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Microsoft Forms and then you're gonna create a new form and then you're gonna give it a title, call it snacks. This is gonna take way longer than 60 seconds, but whatever. You're gonna say question, uh, and then you're gonna give some choices. Um, okay, and then you're gonna add another thing you're gonna say uh, if it's chips so what's your fave chip flavor there's no way I'm gonna get this done uh, barbecue we'll just say Q that took way longer Q and plain and then we're gonna say okay then we're gonna do uh, your fruit favorite fruit okay fave fruit who cares we're under the gun here um, and then we're going to say Apple, why, why not just hit the enter key and orange. Okay. And then we need a follow up question, you know, what fruits should we keep in break room and let people just type free form stuff. And, but it's not a choice. I just did the wrong one. We got to make it a text. Okay. Just how about. Tell us more. Just tell us more. Text. Oh, we just did that. We did the tell us more text. We're going to get rid of that. And now we got to go back up in here. We got to like do the branching. So we got to say if you pick uh, chips or fruit, what are you going to do after that? We're going to say add branching. And if it's chips, we're going to go to the chip flavor, favorite chip flavor. If it's fruit, favorite fruit. But then we got to like if you pick these things down here. What we're going to do next. We're going to go to the next question. No, because then I'd be going for your fruit. That'd just be clown shoes. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to say, tell us more. We're going to say, tell us more. And then you tell us more. And so when you preview it and you go preview and you say chips, okay, well, I like Q. Tell us more. Ba bam, you did it. You didn't have to see the other question about fruit. Yes. Probably 120 seconds. But let's slow it down, break it down, and show you why it probably didn't work the first time tried it you probably got it to work right the first time but I'll show you what happened when I tried it the first time it was kind of crazy so let's go back here and let's see if we can just make this I'm just gonna remake it it's it's simple enough and we can do it a little bit better um, than this frazzled version here so we're gonna go back to forms and we're gonna do a new form and we're gonna we're gonna do this a little bit better we're gonna go snacks survey and we're going to say, try and find out what snacks to provide in break room. Help us help you. All right. So choice, we're going to say, you know, what's your favorite snack? We'll say fruit's a good option. We're going to go candy. And then we're going to go um, ice cream. Okay. Fruit can't. Now I'm going to go back to chips here. All right. There we go. And we can't. Let's see. I don't believe we could even do branching. Not because there's nothing to branch to. But that's our opening question. All right. So we want to do something where if they select fruit, then we ask them something about fruit. If they select chips, we want to ask them something about chips. You get the idea. Use this in your survey however it makes sense for you. But we're going to create a fruit question. And so the next question is going to be, what is your fave frit? What's your fave frit? And then we'll say mango passion fruit. Okay, great. Next, what we got? We got uh, chips now. Okay, what's your fave chip? And we're going to go plain. We're going to go cheddar. And we're going to go sour cream. Okay, boom. Now we got that cooking. 
And we're going to do now next ice cream. Let's get an ice cream question. What's your fave ice cream? Okay, we're going to go chocolate, vanilla, strawberry. Okay, butterscotch. That sounds tasty. All right, and then we're going to do like a final question. Uh, tell us in general what you'd like to see in the break room okay how about please all right and then we'll oh yeah see we're making a text there we go please tell us more about what snacks you'd like to see in the break room okie dokie uh we'll get a long answer i don't know sure okay now let's go so now we're going to add the branching in. So we're going to say if we pick uh, fruit, chips, or ice cream, we want them to go to the uh, chips, fruit, or ice cream question. So we'll go into add branching, and we'll just do what makes sense, right? Which fave fruit, fave chip, fave ice cream. Great. But then let's just say that's all you do, okay? And then we go back here, and we preview it, and someone picks fruit. And you got all this madness here. Like, that's no good for anybody. So, this is how you fix that. You go to the follow-up question, each one of them, and you got to point it to that tell us more. So, if they pick mango or passion fruit, don't go to the next question. Tell us more. Tell us more. Same thing here. Basically, you're going to do it all the way down tell us more us more um tell us more us more tell us more and then they're going to go to this question and this is the behavior you should get let's see fruit oh favorite fruit mango tell us more or if we go chip pick the chip and then you got tell us more or ice cream the flavor tell us more submit there you go hope this has been helpful Remember, do the very best you can with what you got. SharePoint rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. Although this was actually Microsoft Forms. So Microsoft Forms rocks, and so do you. We'll see you next time. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands, because I got to use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.